Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, you catch your boy outside King's Cross. We've got the Renaissance Hotel over there and the station there. And your boy is heading off with Middleman Luxury. Shout out to my main man, Shiloh. We're heading off with Middleman Luxury back to an airfield to do some fun things. Now, if you guys haven't seen the day in the life with Middleman Luxury already, make sure you go and check that out. Guys, make sure you press that, go like, whatever. That video's sick. But today, we're here to do some new, fun, fresh things. So guys, make sure you stay tuned. Look at that. So this is a 540C. There's not a massive difference between the 540C and the 570S, to be honest with you. 570S is a bit faster. Um, I can tell by the side skirts. The side skirts on a 570S normally say it, whereas the 570C does not. But regardless, this just looks mean. Absolutely mean. And this is just always parked here. And of course, the main man, the animals as well. Quite sick, man. Sick car. So I've never been in here, but it looks lit. Um, the Renaissance Hotel. I don't know if anybody else has been. If you have, let me know. Is it good? I don't want to get now to film it because it's a massive camera. The main man. <laughs> and of course, the lovely driven land jet. Yeah. What color is this? Uh, a light blue. So this is going to be our form of travel for today. So yeah, we're gonna get in and go from there. We're gonna get the flight done first with Shiloh and his team, and then we're gonna do some filming and actually do an interview. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Got the flight address. So we've just arrived. Um, the lovely business conversation, uh, a catch up that was well deserved, I think. Um, lovely Aston Martin out there as well. That's that the Vantage. But yeah, so we've just arrived at the airfield. Um, I think we're at the wrong entrance right now, so we're going to probably head over to the right entrance in just a second. I don't know if we're, if we're meeting the cameraman here. And then post that, we're going to head over to uh, the hangar where the helicopter is. And yeah, we'll go from there. So guys, make sure you stay tuned. I've just realised that I actually haven't shown you guys the inside of the van yet. So this is Driven's newest van, 22 plate. Um, it's not quite the Tiffany blue one. I know a lot of people have probably seen that Driven created, let me just turn that brightness up. Driven created a lovely Tiffany blue one. This is like more of a pale baby blue. It's lovely, got Driven on the floor, of course. As you come in, you've got these quilted seats. Um, if you're facing this way, then you've got the remote here to speak to the driver, if that's what you'd like to do. You've got your cooling systems at the top, and then you've got your remote here to control the TV. One TV there and the other in the back. Uh, as you can see, you've got the massive TV screen. You've got the beautiful stars in the roof. You've got your wireless charging here. You've got a safe at the back for any goodies that you may need. Uh, you've got portable charging spots here, so your phone can always stay up to date. And then if you look here, you can see we've got heated seats, cooled seats, and I don't know what this is, I'm not going to lie. I haven't pressed it, but I don't want to break it, so I'm not going to. And then, of course, the memory phone seats as well. Yeah. Many of you may remember this because we've been here before. So we're just going to go inside, get a quick drink. This is West London Aero Club. I couldn't see it properly. Um, yeah, so as you can see, look at all of those planes over there, which I think is so sick. So we're going to head over to the private hangar in a second. Right now, we're just gonna get some refreshments quickly. Arrived at the airfield. As you guys can see, just turning down that brightness. When there's a Porsche GT3 parked right next to you, that is good luck there, you know that. 22 plate with the chrome wheels. Wouldn't be surprised if those were the ceramic brakes. What a beautiful car. And you know what? It just looks very subtle. Normally you see like the GT3 RS's with the wings on the back one. Of course this isn't an RS, it's just a GT3, but still, it just looks very subtle, smooth. Just dank, to be honest with you. Would you rather be in this or this? 
this or this they're both 22s this or this i can't lie as much as i love driving yeah and i love driving i am starting to prefer the chauffeuring service i do think that sometimes just not driving is that little bit better that makes sense so who knows and then we've got this lovely jaguar f type pair as well very old car why he's got a steering wheel lock in it we'll never know because i don't know that steering wheel lock is not active first of all because it's not in it needs to be inside the steering wheel number two i don't really know if you get keyless go <laughs> with this car so i don't know if anyone's going to be robbing this or anything like that anytime soon but this is a beautiful modern classic um you don't realize until you see something like this in person just how long this bonnet is and this engine is i don't actually know the engine that's in here i probably should but i don't um but yeah it's like 1.2 with four exhausts and a lovely plate as well here comes our helicopter absolutely mental as you can imagine sound is going to be a massive problem so i won't talk okay i was actually wrong that's too small to be ours ours is this one here <laughs> there it comes in So the time has arrived where I'm actually going to be going up in the heli. So I've just done a review on this helicopter. It might come up before or after. So guys, make sure you stay tuned for that. And now I'm also going to do a vlog going up. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. So we just landed. Sick experience. I'm going to talk to you guys probably after because I've got to be quiet because of the microphone. Crazy experience. Thank you very much. Take it easy. He's gonna get, he's gonna get. But look at this set, just it's so sick, man. But I've got to That was gonna happen because these are so loud, like so loud. So we're just gonna finish off a couple of the last bits and bobs, um, and then what should I do over there? And then we're gonna do a quick interview with Shiloh. Um, and then once that's done, I think the day is done. Maybe we can head somewhere, get some food or something like that.
helicopter here. To be fair, we've got loads of helicopters. This is probably, probably the closest in size to what we just went into, but this is still way bigger, way bigger. This is like a baby, this is a baby joint. I don't want to go in that because as you can probably imagine, the smaller the helicopter, the more it gets hit by the wind. I don't want to do that. Beautiful helicopter here. Um, this is one that you can use for long journeys from my understanding. So. Uh, London to Paris in a helicopter. Don't know if I'd do that, but this is definitely possible. Which I think is absolutely crazy that you can take a helicopter that far, to be fair. But there's probably a lot that I don't know, hey? And lastly, this is the one that Shadow calls the daddy. So I assume this is the best of the best. Or one of the best of the best that we've got in this hangar, of course. Which is here. Lovely looking helicopter and then you got some planes at the back there but we're here for helicopters today lovely looking helicopter just to give you guys an update if i'm not mistaken our filming here at the hangar is now completed uh, our flight our flight with the helicopter was superb so i think we're done guys if we are done i hope you guys liked and enjoyed the video if you did you know what to do this is about to start making noise so i apologize but like button, comment, subscribe. Guys, take it easy. We'll see you soon. What are you saying, really? Come on, hey, every <laughs> single time. So we just finished, we just finished the interview. The interview was crazy, the reviews were crazy. Everything was crazy. crazy day. It's been an amazing day. Thanks to the main man here, middleman luxury, Shiloh. Thank you very much for today, man. Superb experience. So I think now the team are gonna go and get some food and it's on Dean, Dean's paying, yeah. <laughs> Outside, straight into Nando's. I'm not even gonna film it, I'm just gonna yam food and I'm gonna come back and turn it on. <laughs> So we were meant to go Nando's, but <laughs> we didn't because yeah, they had no data. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so now we're at the waterfront. Where are we, where are we going to eat? Boatman. I don't even know. Oh, Boatman. All right, cool. That's where we're going. We're going to eat on the on the waterfront. I we'll just have a look at how beautiful this is. What area are we in? Windsor. Windsor. When you get in the V class, you don't even know where you're going. You yeah. just close your eyes. You say, let's just turn up wherever we need to go. Let people just go and pass on their yachts. That's lit, man. But I'm um, going to leave this inside the van whilst we get some food and then we'll be back out. And I think we're even going to head down to Zanko Jewels today as well. Um, so that'll be lit if we do. That'll be super lit. Yeah, we'll do uh, some business together. Oh, yeah, you was asking me about my sister, but I'll explain that after. I just didn't want you to think I didn't finish our conversation. Yeah. Very nice to meet you as well. Really Thank you very much. Nice. Yeah, I've got I've you got my Instagram. Same, same yeah. Well. yeah. I've added Dell. Yeah. I've got his number. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Take it easy, yeah? Love, bro. Take it easy. Love. Bye bye. Take it easy. Nice to meet you. Like and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Guys, take it easy, yeah? Time, take it easy. Every time, Lovely day. Every time, take We're gonna head down to Zanko Jewels now. Yeah. Uh, Berkeley Square. To introduce Shiloh to the team as well. Um, and then, yeah. After that, we'll see where the day takes us. Oh, nothing like a bit of Ryan Garcia and the tank. <laughs> Start making a... We was actually uh, speaking about that this morning. Yeah. So, yeah. When I first started in business, yeah. what I understood marketing to be is a lot different compared yeah. to what it is now. Yeah. It's a very well known. Lovely meeting. Good to again. catch up today, today, man. Good to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> Today's been lit. Absolutely lit. Went up in a helicopter for the first time. Um, had some very powerful meetings. Just had a lovely meeting with Zanko, Jules best jeweler in London if you guys don't know get to know and middleman luxury and swift solutions 
The boy's tired, losing his breath. But, um, superb, superb day. So I'm just gonna go back to Zanko now. Shiloh has just left us. He's going to Luton Airport to swap some flights. And we're coming here to look at some of the watches, which we couldn't do then because that was more of a business conversation. Let's just keep it as simple as that, very confidential. <laughs> what you said? I'm good, bro. I didn't even want to film too much. Too far. What do you think? What? Huh? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Come on, we have to have a shot for good old times here, okay? Yeah, we can. Stop drinking. <laughs> he always says this. You know, every time I meet him, he said the same thing. I, 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 he's been really good. Since you believe him now? He's actually doing it, and that's what I'm thinking. Wow, well, can't see. do it anymore. For as it is anyway. This here, this is the traditional Zanko shot. Unfortunate, bro. You always play these games, bro. It's fine, man. Huh? For me to to have a drink with somebody, but what was it? Rick, would you would you be interested? No, I he doesn't drink. I stopped eight years ago. Oh god, I'm, I'm in. I listen, I <laughs> so, some new kettles. Yeah. Talk me through these actually. So, uh, where do you want to start from? I mean. So this is. The first Rolex I've actually I ever had any interaction with. Really? Yeah. The Rolex Mule Gas. My. How you come about that? So my partner, my ex at the time, yeah. her dad had the Mule Gas, and I was the only what she had, and the first person I ever saw wearing a yeah. Rolex, and I loved it because it had the lightning bolt. But at the same mm. time, I was very young, I didn't understand watches, so yeah. I don't know if it's the best watch in terms of holding its value. Mm -hmm. um, what plate is that? This would be, I believe it's a 2011. 2011. Um, it's got the Rolex green glass, which is now completely discontinued. So the mill glass is gone. The, okay. They're not going to reproduce this. Yeah. Um, this one, the green glass, you'll see on the tin on the side. Yeah, yeah. Uh, compared to your typical Rolex like this. Yeah, so exactly. Sapphire, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, last of its kind. Yeah, yeah. Um, as a terms of uh, store of value, I would say now, it probably will. Yeah, it probably will be a better. It will hold its value more, but I wouldn't say it's gonna. It's like, not, yeah, not going to be Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, we had the same thing with the Daytonas. Well, they discontinued meteorite dials on the Daytonas. Everyone kind of expected it to go up, but it hasn't. It really, hasn't really done that. No, it hasn't really done that. It's just a thing where, you know, you can't really predict this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to be able to tell clients and guarantee you the money, but you can't, you can't do, that. do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so let's test my watch knowledge. So done. we've got a mill gas, as uh -huh. I just did. Now we've got Hulk. No. Uh, Kermit. 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 Do you know why? Because it's got the black dial. That's right. Then we've got, and that's obviously on the Oyster, on the Oyster. Then we've got the Jubilee Pepsi. Mm -hmm. um, then we've got the GMT. What do you call this? I don't know because this is the new one. So, so like is the it Pepsi, got it's called a Sprite. It's called a Sprite, green. yeah? yeah okay, yeah. perfect. I didn't actually know that, so learning curb there. Yeah, first then, ever left-handed. Yeah, um, first ever, yep, yeah, yeah, I've seen that as well. Then the Panda, this is one of my favourites. Mm -hmm. Love this watch. Um, absolutely love this watch. I don't know the name for this, but I know where it is. So it's a Yacht Master Rose Gold mm -hmm. Ever Rose. Yep. Perfect. And that's, it looks, it's not 40, is it? It's 40. It's 40. Flip. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking it's not. And now we're going to come into the harder watches for me. So, yeah. two Royal Oaks. No, yes. no, no. Yeah. They are. You're not the ones wrong. are offshore. The ones are offshore. Yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. This one's the offshore. This one's the Royal Oak. Yeah. Rose Gold. Uh, chronograph, yes, oh, superb. I'm getting there. Oh, chronograph is a stopwatch, yeah. So it's got the proof of the there. Table, um, count seconds basically. So, the first question is, time. which one is worth the most? I'm gonna guess, yeah. yeah have a guess, it's definitely not, definitely not, definitely not, definitely not. I know these four, none of those four are worth the most. Mm -hmm. Cool, definitely not as well. So, these five are out, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know between these three, I'm gonna be transparent, but I'm gonna guess, yeah. Rose gold typically sells better than stainless steel because this isn't white this gold. This is titanium. Of gold, there we yeah. go. That changes the whole shebang. <laughs> that changes it. This is the most expensive. Yeah, no. Wrong. And this? This is the most expensive, yeah. Ah. I'll go in order of value. It's 57,000. Cool. For this. AP Royal Oak. See, now this is a bit of me. Yeah. Sorry, let me try this one on. I do love this. So, out of all of these here, Mm -hmm. This is guaranteed my favourite because number one, if you know me, you should know rose gold and my skin tone. Yeah. It just works. It works. 
Um, and then number two, I love leather strap watches. I, I This I'm not too sure about because it's got the rubber strap. Mm-hmm. But, but, this is a very important point to make. Richard Mill did change my whole, <laughs> my whole understanding of, of watch straps yeah. when we looked at the RM6702. Now that was a rubber strap as well. That was or a Velcro. It was like a Velcro. It's a fabric Velcro. Strap. Fabric. It was like this on my Apple Watch. <laughs> it was actually like this, isn't it? It was actually like that. And it was six figures. And that just changed my whole perception of watches. It made me realize that you're not buying just for yeah. name or brand, you're buying for actually the mechanics in the watch movement, if that makes sense. So, yeah. So, as I was saying, historically, yeah. probably the most iconic watch. Agreed. Till today. Agreed. You know, you hear the names of Paul Newman associated with them, Daytona Racing. So yeah. They were associated with Bond Racing. However, today, you know, it catches people. Yeah. It doesn't matter what background you have. If you're an avid collector, you would definitely have a Daytona. Yeah. Especially yep. the white dial. Black is a military dial, mm-hmm. more understated, but this, its transparency and legibility is just unbelievable. I think this is definitely, yeah, the best watch in, in the collection, but this, sure. I think, will probably look best on me. Yeah. If I had to collect one, this will day, wouldn't even yeah. think about it. You see this watch particularly? Yeah. Okay, you know, today we might know them as American Airlines. They are associated with pilots because of travel. Okay. But they choose deliberately these colors because they are the American Airlines colors. Mm-hmm. I didn't know Pan- that either. Pan yeah, American. Red and blue. It makes sense though. Yeah. yeah. No, they chose it deliberately, and it's more like people say the sky is blue, and then they would say, "What's the red?" And <laughs> yeah. Red, red yeah. and blue is specifically. That's American what they call Airlines. Pepsi. Yeah. Pilot watch. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. So guys, we finished today's vlog finally. It's been a long, tedious day. Here with this one, Blanco Jewelers. The main man. Um, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you guys know what to do. Please turn on the post notifications. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. And we'll have loads more vlogs like this where we're going to the airfield, where we're going to Zanko, where we're going to car dealerships. Whatever it is you lot want to see, slap it in the comments and your boy will try to make it happen. With that being said, peace and love and stay tuned.